Hey everyone, how's it going? So I have a bunch of videos coming out really soon that I hope you'll like. Um, until then, here's a quick video on how you can get a shiny Smeargle a little bit easier. So you're going to need a Pokemon with Recycle as your lead. My Smeargle has Recycle, so it works well. So you're going to use Recycle. The opposing Smeargle will now sketch it. Then you're going to swap into a Pokemon that has a Lepiberry and a move that can give the opponent an item like Bestow or Trick or Switcheroo. I'm going to use my Delmize or Delmize. I assume it's Delmize, although it's like Illumise. Who knows? Anyway, you're going to give the opposing Smeargle a Lepiberry. And what this effectively does is makes it that the opposing Smeargle will never faint or run out of moves. Because it now has Recycle as its only move, and it has a Lepiberry. When it runs out of VP, uses the Lepiberry. Gets back the Lepiberry with Recycle. It works pretty nicely. Now I'm just going to switch in my Smeargle. Um, again, it doesn't have to be Smeargle. It can be any Pokemon that knows um, False Swipe and has Recycle and a Lepiberry. I mean, you don't even need Recycle and a Lepiberry. You can just plant a bunch of Lepiberries. Why don't I do that? Because I've, I've gotten that question. I just don't like to do it because I forget to plant the Lepiberries, then I never have enough. And I don't feel like waiting 14 hours. You know, I'm the type of person when it's like, oh, I'm going to, you know, look for a shiny Smeargle. I want to do it right now. But I only have like three Lepiberries on hand. And I should have more. It's my fault I don't. You know, you can plant every day and it only takes like 12 hours or so. It's not as long as it used to be. But with this strategy, you can do this anytime with just one Lepiberry. That's all you need. And that's why I, you know, insist on the Recycle Lepiberry strategy. And I wouldn't even say insist. It's just the way I do it. You know, you can do it any way you like. At the end of the day, these videos are meant uh, just as guides that, you know, I hope are helpful. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. Uh, the strategy kind of speaks for itself. You're just going to be fainting any Smeargle that you see that isn't shiny and hoping one appears that is. And I spent two and a half hours and unfortunately did not come across a shiny one. I do have the shiny charm and I am SOS hunting and that's pretty much all I can do to get the odds in my favor. Um, if I were like a streamer or something, I would definitely be happy to stream, you know, me catching a shiny Smeargle one day. Fortunately, don't have the computer for streaming. Uh, this computer I use really wouldn't be able to handle that well. So, you know, we'll just have to, or I'll have to get a shiny Smeargle another day, but hopefully you'll get better luck than I did. You actually, the encounters um, come at you really fast because since Smeargle never damages you, you don't have to wait for that animation for it to attack. Even with the battle animations off, it takes like an extra second or two, which adds up when you're going through a lot of encounters. And when Smeargle would cooperate with me, the opposing one I mean, and call in like a bunch of encounters... I would, you know, get 10 encounters in two minutes, which is pretty cool. So I really wish I would have found uh, a shiny one. Eventually, once you hit 252 encounters, uh, your increased shiny chance actually goes back to normal, which is unfortunate. Kind of an oversight, I think, in the SOS chaining mechanic. But what can you do? So that's it for this video. I hope this strategy was helpful. Um, again, if you have any uh, suggestions for Pokemon you're having trouble SOS chaining, please let me know. And I have a couple videos that people have suggested coming up shortly. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, take care.